Hi, welcome to Kids Make, a new summer series brought to you by the Pikes Peak Library District. Today, we're going to do a little bit of science and a little bit of art. And we're going to use dry ice to make bubble prints. All right, what do you need to do this? Well, you obviously need dry ice. And I get my dry ice at the grocery store behind the service counter. And they give it to you in a paper bag and you can bring it home and store it in your freezer for just a bit. Um, and of course, it's very dangerous to touch with your bare skin, and so we'll need some tongs or some gloves. You don't touch dry ice with your bare skin or else you'll burn yourself because it's a negative 109 degrees. All right, so besides dry ice, we need a bowl, paper towels, warm water, food coloring, and dish soap and for a little bit later just some printer paper so we can make our art all right so what in the world is dry ice it's not ice it is actually frozen carbon dioxide and frozen carbon dioxide means it's a frozen gas and so as we touch it it is so cold it makes my metal scream on my tongs and as you can see the vapor coming right off the solid piece and that is sublimation it's sublimating which means it's going directly from a solid to a vapor there's no liquid in between all right well let's get started with our project we're going to pour some warm water in our bowl warm water will help the dry ice sublimate faster. All right. We're going to add some dish soap. And now with our tongs, remember don't touch it. We're going to put in a nice big chunk of dry ice. Now, as our bubbles are formed, each bubble has dry ice vapor inside it. It's very cool. I should say it's okay if your skin touches the bubbles. It won't burn you. It's just the solid dry ice that's dangerous. Okay, I'm gonna start by just putting some of my food coloring into the bubbles taking a piece of paper and just placing it on the bubbles. It doesn't get very wet because the bubbles are not that wet. And if you want other kinds of colors for your next art piece, add some more. If you need a little bit more action, you can add more warm water, or I can add another piece of ice. Let's try that. All right, here's a little bit more water. Keeps it going. All right. Isn't that cool? I'm going to hand a piece of paper to my son so he can try it. And that's Kids Make today. Dry ice bubble art. Again, have your parent help you with this, and we'll see you next time. Bye.